Hey everyone, Mike here. I just wanted to go over the uh, process that I use to make the foam bodies. Like, for example, this, um, this bumblebee invitation that I have here. Uh, it, uh, it was made with um, a number of uh, laminations from uh, square foams. I've got these uh, cut in three inch squares and uh, I'll, I'll go over the, the actual process in a minute, but I, I've got them cut in three inch squares and then I've got them in a particular order to get the um, to get the the, the uh, color sequences that you can look up on Google if you if you Google bumblebee you'll see uh, how the um, how the colors go and you can you can actually use this pro process for other flies as well it doesn't have to be just bumblebees but you can get that um, that that color variation in there it doesn't matter for like rubber legged uh, small poppers. Uh, I cut a small slant on the front and just put a hackle in the back, back side there to make a, um, you know, a, a small hack, foam bodied hackle fly. Um, it's pretty easy once you know how to do the lamination process. So let me go over that real quick. Again, uh, I've got the laminations here. They are in order. Or I'm sorry, I've got the foam here and they are in order. All we need to do now is uh, laminate them together. So I'm going to go ahead and spray a um, it's a spray adhesive um, I, I would get a high quality spray adhesive this is kind of a cheaper brand that I picked up at um, at a hobby store if you go to Lowe's Home Depot or someplace like that you can get um, a, a better brand um, you don't want the heavy stuff you want it to be kind of thin believe me it'll it'll stick fine and then you'll spray a small um, film on one side just like we're going to do here Make sure to look at it to see that it's evenly um, distributed on that piece of foam. And then take the next piece of foam and you'll do a spray as well. Now you'll see here that I have this set on uh, a spray, uh, an old spray cap. And the reason why I do that is to get, <clears throat> is to get the uh, foam up off of the paper so that I can grab it and set another one down without setting the foam down on uh, overspray which would cause the foam to stick to the paper and, and, and cause all kinds of problems. So, so just spray uh, with your foam on top of uh, something. It doesn't have to be a cap but that seems to work perfect for, the, uh, for, what, for what I'm using. And then um, you know, continue to spray those centered on there. Make sure you look at them real good and you've got a good uh, a good uh, spread of the spray. And now we can start laminating or start putting the laminations together. And you want to try and be as exact as possible because this stuff is already sticking and it's almost like a contact cement. So when you put these together Try to make sure that they are as registered as closely as possible to the uh, to the to the next piece of foam. Now, there's the first piece, and I, I've got a go by here, um, which is a uh, a piece of foam that's already been cut, and I, I know that I need a a three millimeter black, a uh, or I'm sorry, a two millimeter black, a two mil or a two, two millimeter yellow, two millimeter black, a a three uh, millimeter uh, yellow, a five millimeter black, and then back to the two millimeters yellow and black. So we know what the order is, and we'll kind of set that down to make sure that we um, get that correct. And we've already started the lamination with um, the yellow, yellow, black. Now we need a thicker yellow, which is the one we've got staged there and have already sprayed. So we need that three millimeter to go to the two millimeter black. Sounds more complicated than what it actually is, but um, when you do it, it, you'll see that it's a lot, a lot easier than what I'm making it sound. Um, so we got that. So we can go ahead and uh, put this, these pieces together already because this piece is dried, even though this is wet. We're going to, uh, I'll show you what we're going to do with these pieces once uh, we get them all sprayed up and ready to go. So we got the heavier black. Go ahead and spray that. Again, try and get it as uh, as even as possible. So 
Now what we're going to want to do is to make sure that we're putting the um, 5 millimeter black on the 3 millimeter yellow and not on the 2 millimeter. So we'll lay the uh, 3 millimeter facing up, the 2 millimeter facing down. Spray and the 5 millimeter black is already pretty much set up so we go ahead and grab it and register those two pieces together. We got the black facing up so now we know we need to go to yellow. Spray the yellow. Set it aside. Spray the 5 millimeter black. Let it dry up for a second. Go ahead and grab it. Put, uh, put the pieces together. Again, trying to register them as, as best that you can. And then we're going to go ahead and get started on the last lamination here. So we'll go ahead and spray this down. And set that aside and spray the black down. And go ahead and put those together. Oops. Okay, so now we've got these all glued up. It has not set up yet. So now what we want to do is we've got three inch square foam and we'll put them, we'll sandwich them between um, three quarter inch MDF square pieces so that we can um, press them together and let that set up. I recommend that you let it set up um, overnight. I mean, it probably dries a lot faster, but if you squeeze these down, as you can see right here, uh, as you squeeze them down, uh, it will make sure that the uh, each layer is pressed together um, so that all the glue is is touching, and then it'll set up um, and become a piece like this. This is a block that has been already set up. You can see that I've already got some holes drilled out, in, it actually drilled out, it punched out on this piece here. And to, to do that, all we simply need to do is get a quarter inch punch that you can get at a craft store. Uh, you get a quarter inch punch, you've got the uh, your lamination, and then to get the bumblebee shape, believe it or not, it's this simple, um, you just take the punch, squeeze it and there you go you've got your um, you got your bumblebee and so I would just give it a little roll like that to get the uh, compression because when you use the when you use the uh, punch it will compress the, the uh, rubber just a little bit and, and there you go you can make you can make these things up by the hundreds uh, you know depending on how many you want <laughs> how many you want to make but anyway here's here's um, uh, like I showed the uh, little popper with the uh, rubber legs and the hackle, um, it's the same thing. It's the same process. You just laminate these together. You can do any color the way you want. Here's uh, dark brown and light brown. Here's two dark blacks. And, you know, to get your uh, dark black bodies, um, do the same thing. And you can do, from here, you can do ants, uh, black poppers. Um, pretty much what, whatever you want to do. I mean, call, call, call it what you want. Um, now, the, this does, the punch is a uh, quarter inch punch, but if you start wanting to go a little smaller than the quarter inch um, and get, get a little bit uh, a thinner of a piece, you, you might want to go with, um, oops, wait a minute, this is the wrong one, quarter There we go. This is an eighth inch. Now I do have an eighth inch, um, that's not it, that's the quarter inch. This is an eighth inch uh, punch. However, you can't get the, uh, the, the uh, material inside, inside of the punch, as you can see right here. It just, it just will not fit inside, inside there. So what I did was I, I bought a piece of um, a brass and inserted it into a uh, file handle had to drill it out to get it to fit this and then I just simply uh, use the the brass uh, piece and squeeze press down and kind of spin at the same time making sure it goes all the way through 
and I'm going to do it again because that, this is hollow. It's the first time I used this one. Um, the more you do it, what's going to happen is this is going to this it, it will pack this piece of brass with more foam all the way up inside there. But once it gets to be a certain point, it won't pack anymore. It'll want to push it out. So there, there it is, right there. We just um, we just made a. Um, a 10 millimeter because that's two five millimeter blacks into a 10 millimeter um, piece of black in an eighth inch and now you can make yourself an ant with this right here um, that would be um, uh, you know a pretty small ant you could probably, probably be like a size you know 16 or something like that which which would be good uh, do do I mean and, and they're round so you're going to have a more um, you know, it's going to be more realistic of a fly rather than cut, you know, strips of, of black in just square pieces. Now, you can do that, and it probably works. I mean, but if you want something, you know, more realistic in your um, foam flies, then uh, this is definitely a process to, to use. But anyway, that's the way you make the, um, the uh, foam bodies to get the laminations. Uh, again, uh, you, you would sandwich your laminations until the glue sets up. I'd let it set up overnight. And that's, uh, that's it. It's that simple to make um, foam bodies for your, uh, for your flies. <laughs>